It was a big weekend in the district last week with four of the five varsity football teams playing right here in Mesquite. Welcome to the pregame show. I'm Ted Madden. Last Friday was also a big day to honor some of the best athletes, teams, and coaches from MISD. The second induction class for the Mesquite ISD Athletics Hall of Honor was honored on the field at Memorial Stadium in a pregame ceremony. You can see a video of each inductee at the Hall of Honor display at gates one and two at Memorial. And those videos are on our YouTube channel. Just search for Mesquite ISD Hall of Honor. The 50th meeting between Mesquite and North Mesquite started great for the Stallions, who got a three and out and then blocked a punt, which would lead to a touchdown on their first offensive play. But the Skeeters got going after that. Ladarius Turner scored two of his three touchdowns in the first quarter, and Mesquite led 21 to 10 after one. Late in the second quarter, Mesquite added another big play on a screen pass to Jadarian Smith. The Skeeters win 45-10 and lead the all-time series with 27 wins, 22 losses, and a tie. Mesquite plays a good Tyler Lee team Friday night at Hamby. Their final two games are against Rockwall and Longview. North Mesquite will play Rockwall Friday. Kamari Thompson moved from quarterback to wide receiver and had four catches for 81 yards. Mesquite Horn gave fourth-ranked Longview everything it could handle in the first half of their game last week. Devazier Gabriel hooked up with Derek Jackson to tie the game at 13. Early in the second quarter, Charles Crawford scored to tie the game at 20-20, but Longview pulled away in the second half to win 44-20. The Jags are off this week. Three weeks into district play, Longview and Tyler Lee are tied for first place in 11-6A. Mesquite is right behind them at 2-1, while Horn is 1-2. Poteet got off to a fast start against Texas High last Thursday, scoring less than a minute and a half into the game. Fast forward to the third quarter when Seth McGowan was running fast for another touchdown. 62 yards on the play to make it a 49-3 advantage. The Pirates scored 28 points in the second quarter and have now won three games in a row after beating the Tigers 55-10. We've talked about one heartbeat for the last couple of weeks and we're slowly starting to work in that type of a rhythm. And I think Thursday night against Texas High, that's what we saw. We saw a group of guys who stepped out on the field together and played the type of game that we've been capable of you know, since the start of it, we just haven't done it yet. So what is this team capable of? Potential is such a scary word, you know, because we have great potential to be really, really good this year. But potential doesn't mean anything until it turns into fruition. Poteet is on the road to play a Raiders team that has lost their last two games by a combined score of 117 to 14. McGowan did a lot with a little. Nine carries, 188 yards, and four touchdowns. Same for Golightly. Three catches, two scores. West Mesquite hosts a McKinney North team scoring points in bunches, nearly 57 per game. Their defense has given up a bunch too, so Ty Jordan might get some chances. Against John Tyler, Jordan ran for 99 yards in a score, and he also threw a touchdown pass. Along with JT, McKinney North leads to 7-5A Division I standings. Poteet is right behind them at 2-0, and West is 1-1. That's it for the pregame show. Thank you for supporting Mesquite ISD Athletics, and enjoy your game.